I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Matthew Boys, the Managing Director of Solace Minerals. Matthew, how are you today? I'm good, thanks Shay and good morning to you and lovely to be back on. It's great to have you back on because who doesn't want to talk to a copper-focused Peru-based explorer? Listen, copper happens to be one of my favorite metals at the moment. I want to just steer today's conversation towards uh, the announcement that came out this morning, and that is that you will be doing a drone magnetic survey at your Guaneros project in Peru. When does this kick off? Uh, we'll be kicking off uh, ASAP. The contract has been drawn up. Uh, the contractor is on is on site, and they'll be mobilising very shortly to do our Guaraneros project. Our Guaraneros project was the group of tenements that we've recently picked up, uh, unpegged ground that was previously held by one of the majors in Anaconda, uh, an area that we are extremely excited about because it sits in between our Ilo Este and our Ilo Norte, our Chancho Palo projects. And so we're looking forward to getting some drone mag on it and to um, basically kick off our kick off our targeting exercises, which is this is critical for us. And it's a, it's a big area. We're doing six, six and a half thousand square uh, hectares. So basically 500 line kilometers of drone mag and looking forward to getting that kicked off. So we're starting to see results in a couple of weeks time. Uh, now, there's no rest for the wicked. I believe you're quite busy out in Peru right now. Can we just go back and revisit some of your results that happened at Sinto? Just two weeks ago, you announced some high-grade copper results from that project, didn't you? We did, yeah. We've just been able to get on the ground at our Sinto project. Uh, the the stuff, the exposure looks really, really interesting at the surface. It's got like a 200 by 100 metre area. It's exposed the surface with some really nice-looking in-situ copper uh, mineralisation on it. It's oxidised, so it's, it represents at surface, what we hopefully is a lot bigger system at depth. And uh, the one thing that really we really found interesting about that is its locations. It's sitting on this big interpopular regional fault. It's uh, very close by to Tokepala, which is a three to four billion ton asset currently being in production by a company called Southern Copper. And it's also um, got the same geochemistry as that we're seeing at, at, at Tokepala. So a lot of the dots are, join, are joining up and we think uh, that Sinto is going to be a very, very interesting drill target. We're going to start uh, geophysics on that shortly, and I'll get into that in a second. Now, Matthew, I know you're eager to progress these projects to drilling later in the second half of the year, but tell me, what are the steps you need to take beforehand so you can get to that? Yeah, it's pretty straightforward in the sense that targeting is the first thing we want to do. Like, for example, Sinto and Guadaneros, we're going to be running uh, drone mag surveys, and we're going to be following that up if need be with an IP, so a ground geophysical survey, and then we're going to be following that up with immediately after that putting in our EIA, so our permit to actually drill the assets. So we'll have four permits at that, that, that point in process, so Sinto, Chancho Palo, Ilo Este, and, and, and Ilo Norte, and so, uh, and so and Guarneros. So they'll give us a pipeline of projects that we then, once they start to get approved towards the end of the year, that just gives us sort of uh, drilling and, and, and work ahead of ours for the next for six months. So we're looking forward to that. And hopefully we'll have those permits for Sinto and Guanaros in within the next couple of weeks. Uh, listen, it sounds like you've got a busy six months ahead. Uh, thank you so much for being here today. I can't wait to hear what comes next. Thanks very much. And yeah, I'm a pleasure talking to you again, Shane.